Hey guys, have you been? So, um, me, I'm kind of busy right now, and, uh, haven't been posting any YouTube videos lately, but, um, show you what I'm going to be working on well, over the course of four days, because I have to really, um, work on this. I'm building a website on, uh, WordPress.com, and since I'm going to be a, uh, teacher in the near future, I'm actually, um, writing lesson plans online, so, so far I have about one lesson plan. I decided to take the topic of um, science and the environment because I'm hoping to become a uh, science teacher slash math teacher. So um, I'm working on various uh, lesson plans, hopefully to uh, teach you guys someday. Nothing to do with tea related, but um, we'll see. I only did like five of them. I just have to do about five more. Yeah, so like uh, that's going to kind of uh, pull me away from making uh, more videos, but no matter, I'm going to do, make more. And another uh, shout out to um, Mr. Uranium Productions. It's on animals and stingrays, so um, watch his videos and subscribe to him, so I guess I'll uh, do the same. Okay, so now let's uh, do a little update on the teas. There's not really much updates I can suggest, but what I'm going to do probably tomorrow or uh, Saturday, um, yeah, I'm going to transfer this uh, Siri Cosmos Perez Malesi. Uh, yeah, she's outgoing her enclosure, so I'm going to give her um, a little bigger pill jar that I got from Tarantula Canada. Oh yeah, speaking of Tarantula Canada, I am getting a uh, box hopefully tomorrow. No, it's not a tarantula, it's actually a 72-hour uh, heat pack. So yeah, I just sold uh, two of my Tapnikini's Giga Slings, so I'm going to make a video on how I uh, pack tarantulas. Sweet. That'll be good, because now with the recent weather, it's starting to become much more colder now, and uh, since I have to ship to British Columbia, I'm going to have to uh, have to use a heat pack. And I really must make a Tarantula Nighttime Video 25. You guys miss those. Problem is I'm just too tired lately and uh, whenever I try to uh, confirm myself a time and when I try to wake up it's morning. So, And that deprives of uh, being a really good nighttime video. But much dessert I'll um, make one tomorrow and we'll uh, see what the teas do at night since they're all nocturnal. So I am pretty much getting a tea in pre-molt right now. Uh, it's Wendy, uh, my grandma's solo pole stripes, chocolate goldeny. And uh, she's building webs all over, which is a good sign. And here's Hans, my mature male tea blondie. He's huge. And here's Gretel, mature female tea blondie. Yeah, and uh, see what else I can get you. Uh, here's my Grandma Stola Rosea, red color form. Never likes to eat in front of the camera. But this one's going to take about probably six years before it goes to an adult size. But I really like the red form. It's um, actually quite a beautiful spider. And uh, really recommended if you like uh, G. Roseas. Uh, here's another pokey. Uh, this is the Tigrina Wesseli. If I can just get him. There she is. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, it kind of does look like a Miranda and a uh, Formosa. Sweet. Well, I'll check on my Formosa. Uh, he's over there. Here's Michaela, T. Rosea, that's an adult female. Let's see what else I can get. Uh, there's uh, John, mature male P. fasciata, and it probably looks like he did his sperm web. Because I noticed... He's starting to make webs all over the place. Uh, right over there and I actually saw him doing this in his old enclosure so probably he's going to be tapping one of these days 
And yeah, you can see definitely a mature male. You can see the red uh, part in his pedipalps. That's where uh, he'll store his uh, sperm. And yeah, no um, clear band on the abdomen, so it's not a regalis. This is a P. fasciata. He's pretty um, average size for a male. It's probably around four inches. A lot smaller than uh, Ludwig, my P. ornata. So that's him. Uh, there's my angry Rufalata. It's the second time where I see her go into a threat display. Very unlikely that she actually does that. And yeah, so here she is. Another pokey. And you can see it's a female. You see the spermatheke. Right over here. And I turn to build a tunnel. I guess it's true for all pokies. She's close to uh, being a four inch female, maybe five. I got this about two years ago as a half an inch, around about that small. And about two short years, got up to having about this size. And oh my god, my Miranda has made a lot of webs, so I'm expecting her to molt. Maybe she's molting? I have no idea. We could just have a fast look at her. Oh yeah, yes. Definitely molting. Good, so now I actually have a video to post. Sweet. Cool, so now it is 9 o'clock. And uh, she just started to molt. Well, lay there and she will lay there a good few hours. Cool.